ladies and gentlemen, the action continues live on BT Sport. Our next contest of the evening is six rounds scheduled in the Super Welterweight Division. Your steward in charge is Des Rees, your timekeeper is John Smith, and the man in the middle, your referee, is Bob Williams from Watford. Introducing first in the yellow corner, he has 10 contests to his credit. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 10 stone, 10 pounds, and tonight he wears the grey shorts. Please welcome, from Slovakia, Henry Herak! And across the ring in the blue corner, he is unbeaten so far in his career, with a record of one win and no defeats. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 10 stone, 9 pounds, and tonight he wears the black and white shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from Welly, Jack Henty! Okay lads, by my commands, in the event of a knockdown and fight to stand it, we'll go to the furthest room to call and stay there. Protect yourself at all times, touch gloves. Well, a big reception for Jake Henty. Plenty have made their way down from Welling to urge him on in his second paid outing. As an amateur, he won Great Britain School's honours and boxed at the European Schoolboy Championships. And he's made a dramatic start here. Goodness me, not hanging about. What a left hand that was that started. That. The proceedings off there, John. Good one two combination. Left hand right through the gap there. And Herak got to keep his chin down. Chin's in the air. And that's why MT is having success with that straight left hand. Herak has been stopped on three occasions in his 10 pro fights. And he carries on being tagged like this, although he did get back with a sneak little right hand of his own, but if he continues to be on the receiving end, well, I don't think that's a knockdown, he's not going to give that. Herrick's problems, John, straight away, look how square he comes with his feet. As he's coming forward, comes very square on and just opens that left hand. Watch when he comes forward, that right foot comes round, tries to land his right hand, when he comes square, that's when he's going to get caught. He is there, look how square his feet are, just open to a left, straight left hand. Jake Henty won his first fight in November against touch journeyman Kevin McCauley over a four-rounder. He did actually lose a round on the way to that. And, well, Herak is bravely coming forward, trying to land big punches of his own, but he's coming out second best in the toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Yeah, he's trying to fight fire with fire, but it's the wrong option here. His feet are all over the place, chin's in the air. He's going for himself, but he's going to walk on to a, to a big shot here all day long. I think he's just got to keep to his boxing. Good little right up there, that was a cracking shot. But it's the left hand for me that will do the damage for Henty here. Harak trying to walk him down, trying to land power shots of his own, looking for that big right uppercut repeatedly. That's a good body shot, power right hand from Henty. You can hear it thud home. Fault again as he comes forward, right leg comes round, comes square on, very open. Is Herak just trying to tuck up to land his, his own shot, failed shot here and there, but he's too open. All good body shots from Henty. Switching the attack to the head, but ships another right sneak right hand counter from Harak, who'll just take a bit of encouragement about the fact that he has been able to get through with a few in this opening round, even though there's little doubt who's taken it. That's been a tremendous round, Henty. Just got to get back to his boxing again now and get behind his jab. Gets caught cool with the shot there, but uh, Herak has got through this round, but it's been a very positive start from Henty. 
well emphatically taking the opening round Jay Kenty and the words of advice in the corner from Ryan Barrett Good, good work from Henty early on. This is right at the start of the round. What's that straight left? What a punch that was. The first five or six seconds. So that actually started the pattern of the round for Henty, who was well on top. Some good body shots went in. Switches the attack there with that left uppercut, right up combination. A tremendous round. Herak came back into it, but Henty's round, no doubt. Well, it's a six rounder. Here we go for the second. And Henty, well, if he continues to dominate that, you wouldn't bet large amounts of money on Henrik Herak getting through the distance. That's no knockdown again, pulling down. Well, I can see what Herak's trying to do here, John. He's keeping his guard quite high and he's trying to get close to Henty to land his own shots. But by doing that, look how square his feet are, his chin's right in the air, so he's wide open. And, he, you know, it's only a matter of time. His game will give him that. But hence, he's just got to stick to his boxing and pick his shots here. Well, Bob Williams has warned him already about that. And I wonder if his patience is starting to be tried a little bit. Yep. The words from Bob Williams, and he's telling Henty just to tidy it up. Let's stick to the rules. Disconcerting habit when he gets tagged. And Herak looking away to his right hand side up towards the balcony, which of course is where Henty's fans are massed. Oh, that's a nice little left up on the inside there from Henty. Lovely punch. Took it well though, Herak, didn't he? He's got a good chin, Richie. He's a tough lad, Herak, no doubt, but how many more can he take of these shots? I mean, the hooks are getting through, the straight punches and the uppercuts. And that's what Henty's got to do, just keep got to work with the jab and set the attacks up. Herak is tough, but he's wide open. So far, Henty, despite the success and the volume of punches, has not really been able to move him. He's uh, absorbed everything that's come his way pretty effectively so far, Herak. Long way to go, and again, he just fights back as we move into the third minute of this second round. Gutsy and game. Ryan Barrett's gym, which he runs with his dad, Steve, is... Oh, that was a trial. He's gone down this time, but no knockdown, I don't think. Well, it should be a knockdown, because that's a delayed reaction. It was actually a terrific left hand. A bit of a delayed reaction there, and then he goes down. But he was definitely from the left hand, and Henty knows it as well. He's going for it now. That's a good shot as well on the inside. Well, maybe this is the beginning of the end for Herak. If he has nailed him, you can guarantee there were the one man in there who will really know it, apart from Herak himself, is Jake Henty. Yeah, he runs the rather splendidly named Gumshield Gym in Bexley. Not much doubt what goes on there. As we come now to the last few seconds of the second round that Henty has dominated just as he did the first. <laughs> A good round for Jake Henty, and should this have been a knockdown? Well, make your own mind up, he certainly caught him pretty flush, and then eventually goes down to the canvas. That's, that's definitely Maybe. because of that shot, Jim, no doubt. Referee suggesting maybe, having cautioned him once or twice already, that he just manhandled him a wee bit too much, and therefore not a legitimate knockdown. Well, that's the view of Bob Williams. That's better from Henty. In these situations when you're in against a tough customer who's a little bit awkward, then you've got to get back to behind your boxing, set up your power shots behind the jab, do it nice and neatly, try not to get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle and get behind your, your jab first and then let the power shots go. This is better from Henty, a better approach for me. Herak, though, his game will keep on coming toe-to-toe, -to -toe, hoping to get lucky with a big shot of his own. That's another lovely uppercut from Henty, rocked back the head of the, Slo of the Slovakian. Nice straight shot 
once again from Hansi. Yeah, if he puts a, a good combination together, Hansi, he could get the stoppage. I don't think there's a lot left in it, Iraq. Down again, and once more, Bob Williams says no knockdown. And there you go, the action shows you that he thinks that there was a little bit of a pull which sent him down. He's definitely getting weaker and weaker, Herak. You can tell by the body language how he's just falling in. He's trying to grab and hold. And he's just got to keep the punches going. Lovely little left uppercut again on the inside there. And better work again from Henty. But you can clearly see that Herak is, is slowing right down, John. And there's not a lot coming back from him now. Referee's looking closely, and there you go. He says enough is enough. I have to say, I think that is a perfectly timed stoppage from Bob Williams, who is watching very, very closely. Herak, of course, disappointed as he's helped back to his corner and a little bit of a medical check for him. Meanwhile, it's celebration for Jake Hampton's supporters, and I think Bob Williams there got it absolutely right, Richie. Well, he did get it right. Um, there was nothing coming back from Herak. Henty put his work together very well in that round. A couple of times, I thought, he caught Herak. And, uh, well, he went down, I thought there should have been a count earlier than that, but nevertheless, William, Bob Williams did get it right in the end. There's that short little left uppercut from Henty. That was a cracking shot. You could clearly see that Herak was becoming... See, he goes down there, but that's probably from that original left uppercut there. He's stumbling in, and he's looking to get hold, but he'd been yeah. hit cleanly on the way in. Yeah, excellent, and, and a good finish from Henty here. Good two, three shots coming up here, bang, again there, the referee jumps in. There's nothing coming back, referee quite right to step in there. Good performance, Henty. Yep, that's a, a second professional win for Jake Henty under the tutelage of father and son combination of Steve and Ryan Barrett and I think they'll be reasonably satisfied with what he's done there I guess as a purist Rich you'll say he could have made it easier maybe just to have established that right hand lead a little bit more than he did well he was probably a victim of his own success because at the start of the contest in the first five or six seconds he catches his opponent with a tremendous left hand it really was and then that's like the red rack to the ball and Henty went for it from, from the off so you know he, he probably uh, went a little bit too, too soon in that opening round to try and go for the stoppage he's in against the fairly tough kid who was rugged and eventually he came he got back behind his box and I thought the approach was better at the start of, of the second round he worked his jab very well worked to the body he's got good punch variation and good punch selection and it, overall I thought that was a good display from Henty well here now to give the official result Dev Sardi ladies and gentlemen at the time of 1 minute 49 seconds in the third round, your referee Bob Williams calls a halt to this contest with the yellow corner in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO, Jay Only 21 and you can hear and see a popular young fella Jake Henty getting a second win in the paid ranks.